Hey partners, today we're up. Today we're gonna look at the Funko Pops I picked up from Funko Hollywood. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, we're here. I'm really excited. I'd like to show off all the pops that I purchased at Funko Hollywood HQ. It was really exciting. I got to pop myself. So you're gonna wanna watch the rest of the video to see the pop reveal of my custom Funko Pop. So because of the 65 anniversary of Disneyland, I was able to pick up a Captain Hook and a Peter Pan. Um, these are really amazing figures. I actually got a Pop Ride recently as well in this series, and um, but these are really awesome finds. I'm a huge fan of Peter Pan, and uh, this is one of the, my favorite animations from Disney of all time. Uh, before Toy Story, of course, I loved Peter Pan. So amazing pops. I really loved both of these, um, and I had, to, I had to pick up these, so these were amazing. So now the next pops that I got were a Mr. Potato Head. So, so it's not the Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story. It is a Mr. Potato Head from Play School. What's really cool about this one is it fits in line with the Toy Story Pops that I have. So he's going to at least be the same scale to fit with the rest of the toys. And then I got this really cool, only a Target exclusive Funko Pop Mr. Potato Head. And he's got his pieces all arranged funny on his face. So I can kind of do that, hey look, I'm Picasso, which is pretty funny. So I really love that they had Mr. Potato Head and the Target exclusive variant, which was really awesome. And then I don't think this is released yet. There's a Mrs. Potato Head pop. Um, like I said, it's not the Toy Story Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, but it is a play school Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. It's old school and it's really fun to have these. So if I ever do more Funko Pop live action recreation, I'll be able to integrate these in my live actions. And it would be cool to put these in scale with the Toy Story Funko Pops. So I had to get these, these were really fun. And I bought way too many pops, but I don't care. I think every pop I got here is fun and amazing. This is not a pop, but I did get this Jurassic Park shirt. Um, it's got like a little raptor guy in the front. And then in the back, it's got Dr. Ian Malcolm, which is really cool. And he's kind of in the jaws of T-Rex and he's running with a flare. And that looks really cool. I had to get a, this shirt because if you get shirts at Funko Hollywood, they're very exclusive and they sell out. So I recommend if you do see a shirt while you're there, just buy it because you probably won't see it again. So the next two pops that I got were the Gingerbread Mickey and Minnie Mouse and they're gingerbread cookies. So fun fact, my favorite cookie of all time is a gingerbread cookie. Walt Disney's favorite cookie was a gingerbread cookie. So that was a cool coincidence. So when I saw gingerbread Mickey and Minnie, I was like, oh, I have to buy these and put them in my house for Christmas decorations because I'm just a really big fan of Disney and Disneyland and having gingerbread cookie forms of them. Candy canes, also one of my favorite things. Awesome for Christmas time. I had to buy those and add them to my Funko Pop collection. I'm telling you, once you're there, you just wanna spend all your money because it's just that amazing. While I was there, I found this really cool Pop Ad Icons Cheetos. So this is Chester Cheetah and he is a diamond collection Funko Shop limited edition. He's actually sparkly, which is really nice and really nice artwork on the box. And the actual figure is really impressive. He's got his sunglasses on, he's all glittery, looks really, really nice. And um, I'm never gonna sell it. I'm just gonna keep it mint in the box because it's limited edition and it's a Funko Shop exclusive, which means if you're at the shop or you get lucky online, that's the only way you can buy it. The next pop that I picked up was this Avengers Endgame Bro Thor, or AKA Fat Thor, <laughs> pop 578. Now, I love um, Avengers Endgame. I thought it was a great film. Um, I don't really own a lot of Avengers pops or anything. I think I have like a Spider-Man somewhere, but to have Bro Thor, Fat Thor from the movie is hilarious to me. When I saw this pop, I was like, I have to get it. It just makes me laugh. It's a great moment in the movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, but Bro Thor gets fat and overweight and it's really funny and comedic. So I had to pick up that pop. It was amazing and I, I had to get it. The next pop I got from Avengers Endgame was actually Stan Lee. This is his last cameo appearance outfit. Um, it is a Funko Shop limited edition. I don't know how many pieces they made of these, but they're pretty rare now. Um, so hopefully you're able to get your hands on this. I don't have a Stanley Pop. I know they've made a few others, but this is definitely one that 
is is great to have. Um, in loving memory, he's passed away now, but he's inspired so many people all over the world, including myself, um, to just dream big and to create what's impossible into possible. Without Stanley, we wouldn't have the Marvel Universe, and I think that's really important. A very historical pop for me to have, something that I will always cherish in my Fungo Pop collection. So I'm really happy I picked that one up. It's like 10 pops and counting. Um, we got this free pop. It's a Freddy Fungo shop exclusive. So this is Freddy Fungo dressed up in his festive Christmas outfit. It's really nice. I didn't have to pay for it because you, I think if you spend 50 or $75 minimum, you do get a free one if you're in the store. So that's really nice for the holiday season. They give you a freebie and it's fun to have more Funko Pops, especially Christmas ones because I don't have a lot of Christmas pops. So I think that's really nice. So that's the bag is empty now. So the last, this is it. The pop reveal of Today I Grew Up Pop. And here it is. Today I grew up Funko Pop. Let's take a closer look at it. So here it is, Funko Special Edition Pop People. It is the Today I Grew Up Pop. Like I said, the sunglass accessory is something that's basically free, so you should get it if you're gonna customize your own pop. The bottom of the box, I was able to customize it, and it says Today I Grew Up, which is really cool. So I might offer these in my shop later on if you guys want custom <laughs> Today I Grew Up Pops, but it's really cool to have. And I really like that it says pop people on the side and on the back. Um, this is Funko Hollywood, so it's a yellow color. I heard Everett Washington is blue, um, but it's really cool. It says the ultimate fan fun. Congratulations. It says you just customized a pop vinyl figure. Your creation will stand proud among the ranks of heroes, villains, monsters, and real life icons in your own pop collection. The new collectible was created just for you at Funko Hollywood, Hollywood, California. Very nice. I really like the palm trees because that's very true to Southern California and it just repeats with the Hollywood California Funko Pop labels. But let's take them out of the box, take a closer look. So here is today I grew up with sunglasses on. It looks really cool. I really like the just rotating around. I do have black hair, I wear a lot of black and I do have black chucks so it definitely, definitely looks like me. We're going to take off these Ray-Ban style sunglasses. They just clip on and off as you can see really easy to do and here's another view of that so I got a sticker pack and was able to take this sticker stick it on so it looks like a graphic on my t-shirt um, definitely something that I would wear <laughs> as I wear a lot of black t-shirts with graphics on them also I got a microphone accessory because I do sing in a band called Heart Like War I am the singer and so it's it's fun to have that accessory and then in my other hand is just this black plastic it's supposed to be a cell phone um, because I'm always filming with my phone and editing videos on my phone too. What's fun about these accessories is that you can take them out of the hand and you can move the arms up and down so there is some rotation and you can actually take them apart like potato head I noticed so if you wanted to eventually you know swap out parts you know these these pegs come off like potato head and you can put them back together. So that's cool in the future if I customize more pops of myself I can do that um, and, and probably swap out different parts like his torso, his leg, and his head. So that's it for the video today, guys. As you can see, I had a blast looking through Funko Hollywood HQ. I had a lot of fun finding these amazing pops to add to my collection. Um, pretty soon I'll be buried in pops, so that's okay because I got my favorites. And it's just really fun to find and collect some of these that are pretty rare and exclusive too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that alert, like and share and comment with your friends. And I'll see you guys on the next video review. Take care.